Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hello, and welcome to HDTV. I'm your host, Nolan Barner. And I'm Nick Kinder. And welcome to the station that is about to give you your hot dog sports updates from over the weekend and other exciting news like Best Buddies, DECA, and Spellbowl. But first, to Dallas with the weather. Hello, everybody. I am Dallas Hatfield bringing you the weather today, so let's get started and the flow of the day. So, today, right now, it is partly cloudy with it's going to rain later again today. And the high is 78 and the low is 66, but also the goal of the day is Avengers Assemble. Have a great day. Thanks, Dallas. A happy birthday goes out to Nolan Abbott and Ashley Tennis. For lunch today, we'll be having chicken snack wrap in lines one and two, in line three, soup and salad bar featuring potato soup, in line four, baked mozzarella cheese sticks, and finally in line five, Wild Mike's Pizza. Now to sports with Alyssa. Thanks, Nick. The Frankfurt tennis team traveled to Benton Central on Saturday. The match was upbeat and very competitive. Although the hot dogs fell to the Bisons 2-3, to three, the team is developing and getting better with each playmate. One doubles of Nick and Isaac led the way again, and they were the first ones off the courts with a win. Two doubles, Pace Thomas and Jesus Garcia, showed terrific patience and determination to win a very tight match in two sets. The Frankfurt volleyball team finished fourth in the Kokomo invite Saturday, going 2-2. Two to two. They started the day by dropping a close one with Kokomo 1-2, to two, then took a match off of Maconaqua 2-1. to one. For the afternoon round, they lost to a dominant Warsaw squad, then turned around to finish the day with a win over Indianapolis Lighthouse. Saturday, the Frankfurt boys soccer team hosted the hot dog invite. In the first match of the day, Frankfurt played Delphi. The hot dog struck first with a goal from senior Manny Garcia and an assist from senior Roger Angeles. Delphi scored two goals, making the half to take a 2-1 to one halftime lead. The hot dogs would tie the game up early in the second half when Manny Garcia assisted Roger Angelus' goal. After Delphi took the lead again, Manny Garcia and Roger Angelus each scored a second goal for the game late to put the hot dogs up for a good for a 4-3 victory. The championship game remained scoreless at halftime as each keeper made some spectacular saves to deny the other side of the goal. The second half, Crawfordsville allowed Roger Angeles, freshman Christian Mejia, and junior Ezekiel Gijosa each get a goal. Crawfordsville would come back with two goals of their own, keeping the game close. Roger Angeles managed two more late goals, and freshman Giovanni Olanis added another to give a final score of 6-2, to two, which did not reflect the evenly sided contest that was. Frankfurt will face Harrison at home this Tuesday. Kickoff is at 5.30. The Frankfurt Cross Country team managed to raise enough to send the Clinton County Humane Society $100 as part of their fundraising efforts earlier in August. The team enjoyed running with the dogs and hope the money they raised on their behalf helps them with their needs. The football team lost the season opener against Clinton Central 6-18. Jack Espinoza scored the lone touchdown for the dogs. The next game will be at Logan Sport this Friday. Now back to the studio with Nolan. Thanks, Alyssa. The academic spell bowl team for 2018 will be forming this Thursday, August 23rd at 2.55 in room 221. If you're interested in pitting your spelling ability against other people, come to the meeting and join the fun with Senior Fortner and the other seasoned veterans such as myself. No speaking is required. We write our words during the competition. This week, DECA will be selling chocolate chip, sugar, M&M, and chocolate brownie cookies. Make sure to get them while they are warm and before they run out. They are also at the low price of $1 and are located close to the new science hall. Congratulations to this year's DECA Cookies Management Team. The general manager is Ruth Ramos, finance manager Zeke Vandeventer, human resource manager Jackie Bajorquez, promotion manager Yaquin Pozos, and finally the sales manager Rebecca Castro. The annual DECA fundraiser will kick off in early September. Members interested in selling Audrey's pumpkin and gourmet cake rolls will need to see Mrs. Bishop or a DECA officer. 
DECA dues need to be paid to Mrs. Bishop by no later than September 17th. Best Buddies has a t-shirt fundraiser that is starting now and goes through September 14th. If you would like a shirt, see Mrs. or Mr. Jagger or Mrs. Jameson. Also, Best Buddies call out will be this Wednesday, August 22nd during community in Mrs. Jagger's room, 215B. And now to another great informative video from a hot dog college career coach about the different types of degrees that you can get from different colleges. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Rachel Scanlon, your College Connection Coach. You might recognize me from that green table outside the cafeteria. Today we're going to talk a little, little bit about the different kinds of degrees and certifications you can get after high school. You might be wondering how much time you actually have to put into getting to a certain career. Now, the amount of time you put into a degree is what determines what kind of degree you get. So, if you're looking more into the blue collar jobs, if you want to do a trade, be a plumber, an electrician, HVAC, cosmetologist or CNA. That normally takes a year of education after high school. Now we're really lucky here at Frankfurt. A lot of those classes you can go ahead and get to start at with dual credit. Now you also have an associate's degree. That's about two years of work. There isn't as much of a demand for an associate's degree. You can do a few things with computer science if you want to work in IT help desk or a few things in nursing and business but otherwise it's mostly considered a starting off point. And then you have a bachelor's degree. This is four years of college. This is normally what people are talking about when they say that they want a college degree for a certain job. So this is most of what you see in the career. Uh, if you want to be a teacher, you need a four-year degree. Um, a lot of jobs in business, if you want to be a manager, things like that. Now then, after you have your bachelor's degree, you can choose to stop there or continue on after having that degree. So if you continue on two more years after already giving your bachelor's, that's called being a master. Now, jobs that require a master's, so six years total, are things like therapist, athletic trainer. Really, anything in the medical field or even adjacent to it, you need about six years of schooling. Now, again, after you already have your bachelor's degree, you can also decide to go for another four years. This would be if you want to have a doctorate. If you want to be a professor at a college or go into the medical field, become a lawyer, you need those four years of schooling after you already have your bachelor's degree. So that kind of gives you an idea of the foundation of how the degree system works after college. If you have any questions on the different colleges that might be best for your different degrees, stop on my, my table. I'm happy to talk about it. And we'll go into a little more detail about the different kinds of colleges on Friday. Have a good one. That's it for the daily announcements. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest hot dog news, sports, and weather. See you again tomorrow.